today we're talking about the top 10 cars that look terribly slow but are surprisingly fast. These cars are complete sleepers and be sure to stick to the end because you'll be wondering how the last one even got on this list. A lot of these cars you've probably never even heard of before. Coming in at number one, we got the 1991 Mercedes S600. This car came with a beautiful sounding naturally aspirated V12 and has the same V12 that is found inside the Pagani Zonda. It also comes with 400 horsepower from the factory. You may have seen it online on a famous car YouTuber's channel called F-Spot. He put a $12,000 exhaust on this thing and it sounds absolutely mental. It may not be the fastest V12 out there, but let me tell you, people are blown away with how this car sounds that you could get for under $10,000. Coming in at number two, we got the 2008 Audi Q7 TDI. Speaking of V12s, this thing has one as well. Not only that, it comes with 500 horsepower. This car can also hold seven people in it. So if you're a new dad, this is a perfect car for you if you wanna make not only the kids happy, but the wife happy. Now, unfortunately, these were the diesel versions that were only available overseas and not in the USA. You can find some of these cars in good condition for twenty dollars to $30,000. At number three, we have the 2009 Jaguar XFR. This car came with a supercharged V8 with 420 horsepower. I've seen these cars so many times on the road and never knew that they had so much power under the hood. I mean, these cars are so unsuspecting. It's like a grandpa that wanted to spend his retirement money, so he spent it on this car. As a zero to 60 of 5.1 seconds, which is pretty solid. These are also rear wheel drive and I might have to pick one of these up because it doesn't grab any attention until it gaps your Mustang at the light. Now at number four, we are talking about some Japanese cars. Let's talk about the 2022 Toyota GR Corolla. These come with 300 horsepower from the factory, but have a zero to 60 time of 4.9 seconds. Let me put this in perspective for you. Like I have a 2015 Lexus RCF and it gets a zero to 60 time of around like 4.4 to 4.6 seconds. So this Corolla GR is coming in pretty close to being able to beat me. The crazier part is that this is a 1.6 liter turbocharged three cylinder motor. It also exclusively comes with a manual transmission. So it's quite literally the perfect daily for any car guy. And it can even get almost 30 miles per gallon on the highway. I personally have a Corolla sedan as a daily and would love to have one of these to replace it. But to be honest, the 30 to 40K price tag on this thing is kind of steep. And number five, the 2024 Tesla Model S Plaid. Okay, so we all know Teslas are fast, but did you know that this thing has a thousand horsepower and has a zero to 60 of 1.99 seconds? How is this car even rolled legal is my question. Like it doesn't even look that fast. It's a four door Tesla. And I couldn't even say the wife would be mad if you got this because she would immediately hate you because like I would absolutely be terrified to drive this thing. I'm sure I've seen a lot of these on the road as well, but I just didn't know the insane amount of gap will be a potential it has. For 60K, that ain't too bad of an all around deal for a car. Next at number six, the 1990 Lotus Carlton. This thing has a ton of power for the time period it was made. It produced 377 horsepower from the factory and had a zero to 60 time of 4.8 seconds. Supercars at the time couldn't even keep up. These cars were only produced for one year and only 320 were ever made. What's crazy is that this car was so fast that the UK wanted to ban it because it was a very popular getaway car for bank robbers and thieves. It could easily outrun police cars and helicopters at the time. It even came with a six-speed manual and this car was twin turbocharged. It's sad that they didn't revive these cars. I truly believe that there could have been a huge community. The potential was surely there. At number seven, the 2007 to 2014 Chevy Tahoe. These things came with a giant V8 and put out 320 horsepower and they even came in rear wheel drive, which is why you often spot them at car takeover events and they're the ones with 10 plus people inside swinging it in the middle of an intersection while they hit someone out of orbit. For an SUV, truck, suburban, whatever you guys wanna call this thing, it can surely be swung around. While we're at it, let's throw in the Yukon Denali. Both these cars are very similar in terms of weight and power output. The only thing I don't like about these cars is that the 2024 models are selling for 70K plus, which is absolutely insane. Unless you got a whole family of 20, there's no reason anyone needs to buy this car. Coming in at number eight, this is the 2024 Toyota RAV4 Prime. It comes with 302 horsepower, which actually isn't bad for a mom car. This car is actually a lot faster than most SUVs. It even gets 38 miles per gallon, which is plenty for a speedy soccer mom. The fact that it's all wheel drive helps it get off the line at the light and shoot, you may even be able to take it off-roading on a camping trip. At number nine, we got a 2024 Buick Regal Sport Cross GS. This car comes with a V6 and 300 110 horsepower. It's actually faster than the new Acura TLX and the Toyota Camrys. This car is another W for the elderly community. 
If you've ever thought about buying your grandparents a new car, that way they aren't just reading books all day and can have some actual fun on the road. Number 10, I'm sure you guys didn't expect this, a Volvo, but not just any Volvo, the Volvo EX30 Twin Motor Performance. Volvo always seems to surprise us with some awesome cars that are absolute street demons. It's completely electric and goes zero to 60 in 3.4 seconds and has 422 horsepower. And you can get them for 47K, which honestly isn't that bad. It pretty much looks like a Tesla inside and out. But what would you guys actually buy, a Tesla or an EX30? I personally don't want to jump on the Tesla bandwagon like everyone else does, so I'd probably go with the EX30. Other than that, these are the top 10 cars that look terribly slow but are actually fast. Let us know if we missed something. A lot of these cars in this video you guys suggested, so be sure to subscribe and we will see you in the next one.